Hi everybody, welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondren here. We are back with another exciting episode of Breaking IP News. Okay, this is a huge, huge lawsuit coming out of the Federal Court of Virginia, the Alexandria Division. If you've ever been there, a very beautiful little quaint little city right outside of Washington, D.C. But this was a case that was started basically because um, RIAA, the Recording Industry Association of America, had sent over 100,000, um, what I understand to be 100,000 DMCA notices to Cox Communications saying, hey, you have all these users that are downloading our, our uh, music files. And so apparently, according to the allegations, as I understand it, uh, IS, the ISP Cox internet service provider was going through a 13 strikes policy. So they were giving people 13 attempts to download music for free, to get warnings, and eventually they weren't stopping the downloading activity. So finally, they got tired of doing that. A bunch of music companies here, you see Sony Music Entertainment and about 50 other companies sued Cox Communications. This is the verdict form. OK, this is the verdict form. So they actually it went to motion for summary judgment. The court said, no, I'm not going to end the case here. We're going to take it to a jury. Here's the jury answering some very important questions about copyright infringement. Now, Cox Communications, like most ISPs, will say, hey, we're just a third party. We're not trying to infringe anybody's copyrights. We're just providing Internet access. What's the problem here? Trying to be nice to our to our users, to our subscribers. Well, under the DMCA, the Cox Communications would have a safe harbor, safe harbor, meaning they could not be sued, but you have to have a policy and follow the policy to block repeat infringers. And there were alleged to be over 20,000 repeat infringers, and they are alleged to have shared 10, over 10,000 music works. So here's the verdict form. The jury heard the case. They said, all right, let's talk about this. Did the plaintiffs prove by a preponderance of the evidence that Cox was contributorily liable? That means that they had knowledge of the infringing activity and materially, materially contributed or induced infringement and not doing something to stop it, essentially. So the court... The jury answered yes, they did. Did plaintiffs prove by a preponderance of the evidence that Cox was vicariously liable? You see, these are two different liability claims, contributory infringement, vicarious infringement. The jury said yes. And then they asked the all important question. If you answered no, of course, don't answer anymore, but they answered yes. So then it says the plaintiffs have, have, have asserted infringement claims for over 10, for 10,017 works. How many of these works did Cox vicariously or contributorily infringe? Answer, 10,017. So the, so the jury found, the jury is the finder of the fact, and they said we find 10,017 music works are infringed. And now let's go to the big daddy, the big whopper. If, <laughs> let's see. We're not going down this far. There it is. Did you find by a preponderance of the evidence that Cox's contributory or vicarious infringement was willful? The jury says, yes, it's willful. Now, just a little primer on willful infringement. Um, it can also be turning your blind eye, put, putting your head in the sand, that kind of thing. Cannot be negligent. It has to be more than negligence. Um, but willful blindness can be in here the court the jury decided that there was a generalized knowledge that cox was aware of the infringement did nothing to stop or did very little to stop and we went on to damages this is what happens when you're a member of the jury goes on to damages this is why i always tell people why don't you want to be in the jury that would be fun you get to sit here you never know what you're going to get okay you miss a little bit of work but you get you get to watch our legal system in in action um, but amount of damages if not willful we'll skip that because they found willful you must award damages between $750 up to $150,000 per work infringed. Now, that's the statute, okay? That's, not, that's, that's built into the statute. If there's willful infringement, whether it's a photo, whether it's a piece of software, whether it's a video, whether it's a music, a, a, song, a song recording or a musical composition, whatever, copyrighted lyrics, those kinds of things, this is the general range. Now, the jury was asked to set the damages. Let's take a look. What amount 
of statutory damages do you award for each contributory or vicariously infringed work? Look at this, $99,830 per work. So if you come down here and do the math, like a good math student, you will see number of works infringed, times the damages, there you have it folks. Very rarely seen in the practice law, but does pop up. A 10 figure settlement, one, Put your finger to your lips, billion dollars, one billion dollars. So of course, so uh, Cox is going to appeal it, as I understand, and uh, many times they are reduced on appeal. They're upset, they're going, holy cow, you can download these songs for a, uh, for a dollar. You can download them for a dollar, and here we are paying $99,000 per song. This is crazy. It's excessive. So we'll see what's going to happen. But I just want you to be aware where this is the thing when you even when if you have the DMC safe harbor, you have to make sure you have a repeat infringer policy that you're following it, it has to be you know, fair and reasonable. You cannot turn a blind eye and have willful knowledge of something or you can be hit with a gigantic, gigantic penalty. So yes, even Cox Communication can be guilty of music piracy infringement. It can happen to you. So if you need help with copyright infringement claim, you know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com, the first name in legal services. All right, have a great day. This is general legal information only, not legal advice. I just thought this was very important. It's a landmark decision. We'll see what happens on appeal. Take care, have a great day. Gotta run, we'll see you later.